Yo, Bucko, it's Zero coming back to you with another figure of you. And in this one, we have the big daddy of the clones himself, Jango Fett. This is the Star Wars Black Series Gaming Greats Jango Fett. And wow, this is beautiful. Like, damn, I'm glad I held off on ordering a Jango figure a long time ago because this is something else. Anyways, this is from the Bounty Hunter game. And that game is pretty straightforward. You'll collect bounties and fly around and kill things. It's exactly what you expect from the badass Django to be doing. This game takes place about 10 years before Attack of the Clones, so that's why his armor looks shiny and new compared to the other mold. Personally, I really like how it looks, though I know some people don't like this look as much. Anyways, in this game, you end up hunting down a fallen Jedi that is Dooku's apprentice. After Django defeats her, Dooku shows up and congratulates Django on the bounty, and he offers him more money than he originally bargained for. If he allows him to be cloned for an army, Django agrees, but only if he gives him an unaltered clone to raise as a son. Anyways, let's take a look at the box because I'm super excited to get this guy open. Here's the front of the box, Django Fett. You got your gaming great sticker, which I can't believe it took me like five of these guys to figure out that this is a sticker which like doesn't make sense to me because like on the other boxes it's like not a sticker it's just put on there also the, this box is a little it's a different material than normal I, maybe it's just because it's not glossy but not really sure side of the box you got Django Fett I like how that turned the whole screen orange. Yeah, you got Jango Fett, Gaming Greats logo. Back of the box says, Star Wars Bounty Hunter follows Jango Fett, the most fearsome bounty hunter in the galaxy as he pursues an unhinged Kamari Vosa. You got your Bounty Hunter logo again. Side of the, side of the box says Jango V, or Jango E, I can't really tell. Top of the box, black, bottom of the box, unreadables. And this box is super nice, but honestly, it's time to get Big Daddy out of the packaging. And here's Clone Daddy out of the packaging. And damn, I'm really happy with how this figure turned out. I mean, it is just a remold with uh, shiny new armor, but I really like this. Before I take a closer look at the figure, let's take a look at his accessories real quick. Anyways, he comes with two... Westar 34 pistols. They're very nice, very nice. I actually really like the design of these pistols. I had these toys as a kid, so that was really cool when that movie came out. Do I have them now? No way, those are long gone. But they actually looks a lot like it. The toy looked a lot like this, like almost perfect. Damn. And then these go into his holsters on the side. That wasn't already obvious. Then going to the back of the figure, he comes with his jetpack, which this thing is a really nice paint job. I actually really like that. I kind of wish he did come with the other jetpack, but this is still a really cool addition. Actually, I'm wondering, does this, oh, yep, it's, it's literally just a repaint of the Boba jetpack, which that means it should just be able to plug into, oh, nope, nope, it does not plug in, it's not just repaint, this tag is actually bigger, so it does not just plug into Boba, but, because I was hoping that we could almost get in, uh, Kind of Return of the Jedi Boba, but no, we can't. And so that kind of, that that's strange. Whatever. So I guess this isn't isn't exactly the same. <laughs> but it plugs into here pretty well. Ooh, that actually is a more snug fit than the Boba jetpack. So that's cool. That's like snugly on his back. This, not so much. 
going back to the jetpack, I just want to mention that it does have the peg holes on the back, so if you pull some of the Marvel Legends Iron Man blast effects, they work perfectly. I mean, oh my god, dude, that that is that is epic. I love that. <laughs> that is freaking tight. Actually, or if you want kind of like a cleaner look, there's that. But yeah, the blast effect looks stupid good. Oh my god, look how good that looks. Then his last accessory is his helmet, which it's all shiny and clean. Um, I actually did not know that there was a bump here, because I know they got rid of the bump on the front, but I don't know if that's a defect in mine or... That's how that's supposed to be, but whatever. Pretty clean, standard stuff. And then segueing from the helmet into the face, we're gonna start with a quick look at his head before we get into the figure. This head is a really good Tamora Morrison likeness. That they did a really good job here. It's just super shiny. It's not really a bad thing. It just makes him look super sweaty, and honestly. I, I feel like he's more shiny on camera than anything. Like in person, it's not that bad. Um, yeah, th th this isn't too bad. I don't know why. <laughs> in in person, you can't even tell it's like super shiny, but on the camera, you can tell it's super super shiny, and that's kind of obnoxious. It's weird that he has a uh, little has a little hole in his hair. I wonder if that's for that's a mess up on mine, or if that's for like these clone trooper helmets or something. There's definitely nothing in there, but whatever. But yeah, I think this likeness turned out really good. Um, I don't really mind it looks super shiny. It's, it's whatever. Because I'm going to just display him with his helmet on either way. So, big deal to me. But I can see why people would dislike the shininess. And then let's take a look at his articulation real quick. We got a hinge. It's got a hinge at the neck and then a ball joint in the head. That's an okay amount of range. But I mean, I'm gonna. You're probably gonna have the helmet on mostly. So I mean, kind of take some liberties with that. Then he has a hinge and swivel at the shoulder. And he has a, would that even be a bicep swivel? I don't even know what that is at that point. It's like a tricep swivel? I'm not really sure. Bicep swivel? I guess it is a bicep swivel. It's in a really awkward place though. And he has a hinge swivel at the elbow, which you're not going to get a ton of articulation there because of these like wires, so whatever. And you got a hinge and swivel at the wrist, and this one goes side to side. This one also goes side to side, which these gauntlets aren't going to really like help you do that, so whatever. Same thing on the other side. Then you got a ball joint at the torso, which you're not going to get a ton of movement out of there, but whatever. You have your legs uh, move up that much, don't really move back, and then the holsters kind of hinder it, so that's about as far as you're getting. And he has a double jointed knee, which is always nice. Kicks his own ass. Then he has a hinge at the ankle, and a forward facing pin for rocker. I kind of wish I had the other Django to compare to, but it's pretty straightforward. Uh, this is more of a purple than the other one, I think, so it's more aligned with the game look. I actually really like that. I think in the game at some point you switch jetpacks, because I recall him having a different jetpack than this. I could be wrong, though. Um, the jetpack also has plugs, by the way, so I think you could put some Marvel Legends stuff in there. Make it fly, which... I'm going to have to try that out when I get uh, some of these Iron Man I have open. So, I'll try that eventually. Hell, you'll probably even see this 
in the video if I get those open before this goes out. But yeah, he's like super clean. Uh, this is all like cleaned up and stuff. It's, it was scratching the other version. Helmet was dirty. Um, essentially, it's just the same exact figure. He just like looks. I don't know. He looks fine. I don't really see the problem with the why pe people are complaining about him. In any ways, it's time to pose this badass. <laughs> Next to some other figures. Here he is next to Boba Fett. And here he is next to the Black Series Stormtrooper. And here he is next to Count Dooku. And finally, here he is next to Luke Skywalker Squawker. And honestly, I'm pretty happy to have the clone daddy himself. Though, I do definitely think you could skip out of him if you don't like something about the design or the shiny face. Though, I do believe they'll have to release another updated Jango vet at some point. I mean, why would you pull the mold back out just for this? Because it's like, you know we want Jango in the archive, so honestly I wouldn't be surprised if they did that soon. But for now, you could probably hold off on this one, but if you don't have the original one, or you like the box of this one, or hell, you even just enjoy the Bounty Hunter game and you want to pick this figure up, definitely go do so and as always you can bring them in warm or you can bring them in cold thanks for watching and good hunting